Dukkha, Pali, Sanskrit, Dukkha, Tibetan, Sdugbsn Gal, Pr. Duk Ngel, is an important Buddhist concept, commonly translated as suffering, pain, unsatisfactoriness, or stress. It refers to the fundamental unsatisfactoriness and painfulness of mundane life. It is the first of the Four Noble Truths. The term is also found in scriptures of Hinduism, such as the Upanishads, in discussions of moksha spiritual liberation. <inaudible> <inaudible> Etymology and meaning Dukkha is a term found in ancient Indian literature, meaning anything that is uneasy, uncomfortable, unpleasant, difficult, causing pain or sadness. It is also a concept in Indian religions about the nature of life that innately includes the unpleasant, suffering, pain, sorrow, distress, grief, or misery. The term dukkha does not have a one word English translation, and embodies diverse aspects of unpleasant human experiences. It is opposed to the word sukha, meaning happiness, comfort, or ease. The word is commonly explained as a derivation from Aryan terminology for an axle hole, referring to an axle hole which is not in the center and leads to a bumpy, uncomfortable ride. According to Winthrop Sargent, the ancient Aryans who brought the Sanskrit language to India were a nomadic, horse and cattle breeding people who travelled in horse or ox-drawn vehicles. Su and deuce are prefixes indicating good or bad. The word kha, in later Sanskrit meaning, sky, ether, or Space was originally the word for hole, particularly an axle hole of one of the Aryans' vehicles. Thus, sukha meant, originally, having a good axle hole, while dukkha meant, having a poor axle hole, leading to discomfort. Joseph Goldstein, American vipassana teacher and writer, explains the etymology as follows The word dukkha is made up of the prefix du and the root kha. Do means bad or difficult, kha means empty, empty, here, refers to several things some specific, others more general. One of the specific meanings refers to the empty axle hole of a wheel. If the axle fits badly into the center hole, we get a very bumpy ride. This is a good analogy for our ride through samsara. However, according to Monier Monier Williams, the actual roots of the Pali term dukkha appear to be Sanskrit deuce, deuce bad plus sta stha, to stand. Regular phonological changes in the development of Sanskrit into the various Prakrits led to a shift from du sta to dukkha to dukkha. <inaudible> Buddhism Contemporary translators of Buddhist texts use a variety of English words to convey the aspects of dukkha. Early Western translators of Buddhist texts before the 1970s typically translated the Pali term dukkha as suffering. Later translators have emphasized that suffering is too limited a translation for the term dukkha, and have preferred to either leave the term untranslated or to clarify that translation with terms such as anxiety, distress, frustration, unease, unsatisfactoriness, etc. Many contemporary teachers, scholars, and translators have used the term unsatisfactoriness", to emphasize the subtlest aspects of dukkha. Contemporary translators have used a variety of English words to translate the term dukkha, and many translators prefer to leave the term untranslated. Within the Buddhist sutras, dukkha is divided in three categories dukkha dukkha, the dukkha of painful experiences. This includes the physical and mental sufferings of birth, aging, illness, dying, distress from what is not desirable. The Parinama dukkha, the dukkha of pleasant or happy experiences changing to unpleasant when the causes and conditions that produce the pleasant experiences cease. Sankara dukkha, the dukkha of conditioned experience. This includes, "...a basic unsatisfactoriness pervading all existence, all forms of life, because all forms of life are changing, impermanent and without any inner core or substance." On this level, the term indicates a lack of satisfaction, a sense that things never measure up to our expectations or standards. Various sutras sum up how life in this mundane world is regarded to be dukkha, starting with samsara, the ongoing process of death and rebirth itself. Birth is dukkha, aging is dukkha, illness is dukkha, death is dukkha. 
sorrow, lamentation, pain, grief, and despair are dukkha. Association with the unbeloved is dukkha, separation from the loved is dukkha. Not getting what is wanted is dukkha. In conclusion, the five clinging aggregates are dukkha. Dukkha is one of the three marks of existence, namely dukkha, suffering, anatta, not self, anicca, impermanence. The Buddhist tradition emphasizes the importance of developing insight into the nature of dukkha, the conditions that cause it, and how it can be overcome. This process is formulated in the teachings on the Four Noble Truths. <inaudible> <inaudible> Hinduism In Hindu literature, the earliest Upanishads—the Burhadaranyaka and the Chandogya—in all likelihood predate the advent of Buddhism. In these scriptures of Hinduism, the Sanskrit word dukkha appears in the sense of suffering, sorrow, distress, and in the context of a spiritual pursuit and liberation through the knowledge of Atman, soul, self. The verse 4.4.14 of the Burhadaranyaka Upanishad states: The verse 7.26.2 of the Chandogya Upanishad states: the concept of sorrow and suffering, and self-knowledge as a means to overcome it, appears extensively with other terms in the pre-Buddhist Upanishads. The term dukkha also appears in many other middle and later post-Buddhist Upanishads such as the verse 6.20 of Shvetashvatara Upanishad, as well as in the Bhagavata Gita, all in the context of moksha. The term also appears in the foundational sutras of the six schools of Hindu philosophy, such as the opening lines of Samkhya Karika of the Samkhya school. Comparison of Buddhism and Hinduism Both Hinduism and Buddhism emphasize that one overcomes dukkha through the development of understanding. However, the two religions widely differ in the nature of that understanding. Hinduism emphasizes the understanding and acceptance of Atman self, soul, and Brahman, while Buddhism emphasizes the understanding and acceptance of anatta anatman, non -self, non -soul, as each discusses the means to liberation from dukkha. See also Existential despair Four Noble Truths Naroda Noble Eightfold Path Samudaya The sickness unto death Suffering Sukha Tana Notes References Sources Printed sources Web sources External links How Does Mindfulness Transform Suffering? I. The Nature and Origins of Dukkha, J. D. Teasdale, M. Chaskalson Explanations of Dukkha, Tilman Vedder Journal of the International Association of Buddhist Studies What Buddha Taught, Walpula Rahula Dukkha, edited by John T. Bullet, Access to Insight The Buddha's Concept of Dukkha, Kingsley Heemdenia Kuku Entry use. Guest. With no password for one-time login, Digital Dictionary of Buddhism. <laughs>